Systems Integration. The unit objectives. The students will be able to demonstrate how system integration works, and the students will be able to demonstrate how they can use the six tips for integration in their design. Introduction. Each team then designed a drivetrain in Unit 9 and a lifting mechanism in Unit 10. These subsystems now need to be combined with other parts of the robot in such a way that they function together. Systems Integration Systems Integration refers to the way that these individual subsystems are combined during the design process into one cohesive product. This is not something that happens at the end of the design process after each subsystem has been designed, but rather something that is integral to the process. During the design process, it is important to think about the ways each subsystem will affect and interface with the others. The robots are typically divided down into subsystems that perform different functions. Some of these systems will stretch throughout the robot, while others will consist of a, only a single mechanism. Power, control, sensors, pneumatics, drivetrain, lifting mechanism, and object manipulator. Tips for integration. Whatever types of subsystems are being integrated, it is important to keep several things in mind. Remembering these basic principles will help create a better overall system. Look for changes that can be made to the individual system that will improve the design, will improve the performance of the overall system. For instance, a simple funnel design in the front of the chassis of the drivetrain subsystem could significantly improve the performance of an accumulator collection subsystem. Try to reduce components used whenever possible. If possible, share components between subsystems. Try to utilize components that can provide multiple functions in the overall robot system. Design the system so that it can be easily assembled, disassembled, and maintained. Design the system so that it requires fewer motors. Try to share motors if possible. Improve the speed of the overall system. Speed is often the measure of effectiveness. Answer the following questions in your engineering notebook. How does the process of system engineering allow for the development of a well-integrated structure? And how does integration of system engineering early in the design process provide benefits to the overall design?